What's up, plups? This is Overmaster, and this is the third episode of this Norway hot seat that is also serving kind of as a uh, hot seat for tu like tutorial. A hot seat tutorial. Now, uh, sadly, I made a mistake over here. These guys have actually got destroyed, which is actually quite a bit problem for us, but it is what it is. Let's see. Yes, my lord. Attacking. Prepare the grapple. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. My lord. Uh, now, the rules say that I need a one. Yes, my lord. Okay, Prepare three to five. That again. is within the rules. It's going to be quite hard to get this victory, probably. But I'm pretty sure I can get it. Now, how do we actually want to quick load and quick save? Um. Basically, you quick save at the start, then you do it, and then you load again. Now you need to quick save every time um, when you enter, because otherwise you're loading the same thing. Basically, the dice roll happens <coughs> when you load a different save, and the different save happens when you quick save. So that's like that. It's not looking too promising. Damn it. I have a family member over here, so I can't. And this guy's probably not going to be close enough. Oh, even if we could, we don't have the founts needed. I really need more money. Let me see if heroics are allowed. I forgot if heroics are allowed or not. I think they aren't actually. Nope, they're not. Damn it! Always read the rules, that's also a good tip, so I don't get punished by something later on. It's gonna be hard to get a clear victory without. Um, I mean, winning without a heroic. I'll try a few more times though, so. Yeah. Can't get any other boats, so. Yeah. It's a bit of a. It is what it is. I'll reload until the next victory. So if the next victory victory is actually a heroic one, then I'm pretty sure that uh, this one is not winnable. Yeah, okay, it's not, not possible. Kind of unfortunate. Let's open. The trap. The enemy lies defeated. We are victors. Strength, honor, and victory. That's odd. 
have them done that? Is it a trap? Oh, hello. Can't reach there, though. Okay, let's see what we can do now. So, possible things we could do. Let's see. Yes. I could get in there. That's a possibility for sure. But also I should be scouting a bit first. So York is not very well defended. So getting in there might be a good option. Let me check if I could... Uh, Orders, my king. My lord, this is get a... Uh, force draw out of there. Okay, okay, just for testing, we can of course use this. Uh, later on, of course, it won't be allowed because uh, it would be a rule, rule break. But okay, they move all the way up there. Okay, I'm thinking of opening a new front up here against the uh, Scottish, because uh, I really feel like that I need to do something. Against the English, it's going to be hard with what I got down there. Wow, we're really unlucky with the openings as well. Another thing I have to check is if maybe the Scottish are planning to attack me. But I don't think they are. Just in case, I'm gonna be checking stuff over here. Um, okay, so I have this guy for adoption. If I. this no, not the top no, okay uh let's go from the here oh, that's the wrong save I'm sorry this I have to delete this one for some reason it doesn't work I don't know why we delete this one and we got this one I think something went wrong with downloading the save but <clears throat> another thing you could do is it doesn't work all the time but this guy would go to Prince Magnus there he is. Also one thing about this, the scripts are actually turned off, which is not the best for Norway. It wasn't actually intended that if that this would happen, but it is what it is. Now what I could do, theoretically let's do this. I'm not sure it doesn't work every time. Let's see. Not completed. That's unfortunate. Let's see if it'll work if it's just uh, taking without moving anything. Because sometimes adoptions just won't work at all. Nope, hasn't worked. Okay, that's unfortunate as well. Need three more turns for that. I'm really sad I lost these catapults. That was a bad mistake for myself. Okay, let's see if this opens. It's always important to test things. In Britannia as well, all the forts you will all you can always know when they open because you can go to the first save. Fuck. And because uh, you can't build additional forts over here, you can just uh, you you just have the existing ones. Oh, this is really unlucky. Uh, so you basically always know when each individual individual forts open up. Oh my god, this is four times in a row now? Or at least three. Three is minimum. But this guy hasn't gotten in. That's really unfortunate, I have to say. Yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's quite a bra moment. 
four or five times now, okay, about fucking time. Yes, that doesn't open as well. Uh, what percent do I need? Because he has 21 to get in that upper one. A percent for spies is 20, so we can get up there, <clears throat> but because I don't want to bust my balls trying to... Um, although... <laughs> They're probably not gonna be same rated. I'll just check if the this guy will open that, although I'm not sure where and where, where, where I would get him. I can get to Norway. Okay, here he is, okay, so Okay, this guy has one spy, let's see if we have to train him up. Um also need an army. We can do that later. Let's see how much he has over here, because we want to have the space, the same percent, of course. So we check that. It's easier and faster than trying to get him in for twenty-one percent. So over here he has two, because yeah, twenty-one. That's just above the what's allowed. So we can go back over here, and I'll be able to try without the twenty-one percent if he gets in. Now this guy has to get back there. Also, we need to do this. You just ignore this and you get to Norway. I will try to upgrade this dude to 20. Sorry, to tier 2, which has happened. This is good. We get one unit. It'll just be faster than trying to get him in for 21% two times. Because this way I'll know if um, he'll get in or not. Without needing to grind for 21% two times in a row. Because like one time to test and then the second time to actually get him in for real. Like this we'll just need to get him in one time. Which we already have. Oh, sorry, um, never mind. Okay, yes. Okay, we are really unlucky with this, Jesus. Our spies are not opening like anything, which is fucking catastrophical. It is what it is, though. <clears throat> yes. I can get in there. He has spies in here, which just sucks. I mean, I could like just get someone in there. It's better than nothing, you know. Even if he like dies, you still get four hundred twenty-one. I really need the money right now. I can't even get a freaking spy, man. Sire. This is not looking too good. An honor to yes. Sire. Like this guy, even if, can I get an upgrade on him? I don't think I can. Won't open. Um, if I do this, I'm pretty sure we reach. Okay, I'll think. Checking movement ranges. Uh, actually, this one can be done single player, so we don't have to go through every freaking turn. What you do is you're going to single player, turn your campaign in this case, go to Norway, and we're gonna check if it's possible, from where it's possible, to. Uh, Okay, let's check over here. Yeah, whatever. 
Because we need to gain settlements. It's not looking too good at the moment. Yeah, whatever. Just fuck off. Why is this taking so long? Okay. So. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll do that, I think. I didn't mean to go to the start, my bad. Okay, so now I have a bit of a plan. I think I have to attack Scotland at some point. This guy doesn't want to come, no matter what. What about if I hide in here? We gain no honor by hiding in these trees. Probably should check that as well. Because this way he won't know that I'm coming. So, we get this done. So, if I had him in here, let's see what happens. Okay, this is gonna take a million years again, I suppose. Just wanna get through with it. Okay, this seems to work as well. Good to know. We can hide up here. So, an honor to serve, my lord. We gain no honor by hiding in my lord. Where to? Yes, my lord. Merging, please. My lord. That fell with honor. Ready to trade. Continuing on. Is he making money? Okay, he's now. Can I do anything to get... Should I destroy something? I mean, like, we're really running out of money. These guys are probably able to reach in there as well. I need to train this guy. That's the best thing that happens, I guess. Ready to trade? Yes. Moving quietly. Okay. My lord. I can't even get a freaking boat over here because I'm so broke. But, okay. The problem is, if I do this and I lose this guy. Come and get me, you coward. Okay, so I definitely want to do this. The enemy lies defeated. We are victors! Strength, honor, and victory! Sire. I need to train this guy nevertheless, even though if we don't open there, I need to uh, get him in so he gets possibly some experience. Yes. 
Oh yes, I haven't taken that into consideration. What he if he levels up again? I doubt he will. But if he does, maybe we just get lucky. But the main thing is just to train him. Sire. Well, I'm kind of forgetting that he can only AR anyway, so I could yes. just siege that as well. Oh. Although, never mind, he has lots of chips there. He has actually leveled up. Okay. Well, it's worth a sh look. Okay. No luck, but we have leveled him up, which is, you know, good. So maybe next turn we'll finally be able to open something. Sieging that though could be a possibility. My lord. Yes. Orders, my king. Uh, his cavalry will probably reach. All these things are so well um, garrisoned. Even the rebels ones. There's no way I'm sieging that. Well, my plan is to take Inverness next turn. Try to get some money off of that. Because otherwise, we're not looking too good. I already made a big mistake when I didn't uh, include the scripts because from the last time we played this, so um, we we had the one versus one tournament and I forgot to turn on the scripts after this, which makes Norway's job probably the hardest in this campaign. But I like a good challenge. Um, let's see what England will do. Thanks for watching. Until next time, fuck off. <laughs>